I want to show you all exactly how easy it is to change dyes on our 600 line of tubing vendors. We have a dye change. pin labeled the lock pin and this one allows you to pivot up the heavy bend wheels so that they stay in place while you take the die out. The die set always consists of one clamp block which pulls the tubing through the machine as you bend it, one pressure die, in this case we've got a roller pressure die and that's what sits right here in the machine on the inside and that's the shelf the tubing feeds over as it's bent upward and then of course a bending die. This is a four and a half inch radius bending die, so it's nine inches in diameter. We've got larger ones and smaller ones for the machine. So the die that's in here has our billet spacers on it. So that die doesn't have any washers to space it from the inside of the frame. So if we take it out, no washers. In there. This one and five eighths die I'm going to install has no spacers. So to install it, we first have to get the right number of washers, in this case three. We put the washers in first, then we're going to put the die in. Then you put this challenge of trying to put the washers in between the die and the bend wheel. But there's an easy solution for that. All we're going to do is free that bend wheel, top and bottom, and we're going to push it out of the way. Once it's out of the way, it's extremely easy to just put the washers right on the pin, and then we're going to pivot the bend wheel back into position and just keep out of the way of those washers. And that is the easy way to change dies with washers, without our billet spacers. If you have billet spacers, it's even easier because when you pull the die out, you won't lose any washers like I just did. So spacers are great for convenience, but you absolutely do not need them to change dies. One other feature of our lock pin is that they are made of Delrin. So the pin part is Delrin, the machine part is anodized aluminum, so you can replace that part if the Delrin piece ever breaks. Why would it break? Well, some people are forgetful. They might take a phone call for their business while they're no running the machine, changing a die. They come back later, think they're ready to bend, and maybe they are. Maybe they're not. In this case, I was not ready to bend. I still had the machine locked, but that is not a problem because these little pieces of Delrin are cheap. Now that we've shown you how to change dies in the machine with or without spacers quickly and safely, and also how a pin can help save your machine from damage if you do make a procedural mistake while you're changing dies, we think you'll be better equipped to make decisions on which upgrades you should or should not purchase for your own shop or for your hobbies. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.